a new week of out and about, out and about week 28 and yes it is summer even though it is pouring now with rain week 28 sees this is our foundation week 35 day 69 today day 70 tomorrow before Tuesday is two parts of the Riversiders and then Friday night stadium travels at Leeds where I hope the weather's better than this otherwise we'll get absolutely soaked on that away end that's day one of the week completed 9-4 the weather's just as bad now as it was this morning still pouring down well day two in the R foundation this week which completes BHF week 35 day 70 and the part two this week is Riversiders meeting tonight well, that's day two of the R Foundation done, so that's week 35 complete, day 70. Bit of a strange one today, is what I expected, is what could be a bit of a mixed day, obviously, with a certain person meeting in when I'm in Monday Tuesdays. She wasn't in, and it was probably one of the best, you know, most relaxed days we've had in a while. As far as I know, I won't be seeing her again after next Friday, because she'll be away for six weeks. So it's just Monday and Tuesday next week, and we'll see her. As for this week, Tuesday always has a part two. This week's no different. We return to the Riverside's meetings at Wigan tonight. Well, it's been a while in terms of Riverside's, but we're finally back for the meeting. We return to DW Stadium tonight. Nice night at the Riverside at the DW. A few interesting bits of news, which, well, some will probably come out through the site tomorrow, the series about rugby league. And someone just basically things that are out in the open. Where it's about the new player, Nua Sawala, is likely to play on Friday. Ryan Amcher, I don't know whether he'll be playing for Wigan again. We'll soon see how that pans out. And the other news, the Bateman and Smith ain't going nowhere. Nice to get back to the meeting, see people I haven't seen for a while anyway. Like I say, usually this would be the latest I'd be walking through Wigan this week. Except Friday night will probably be a lot later when we go up to Leeds. And that'll be the next out and about. Not on Wednesday. And not on Thursday either. So, out and about culminates this week. With a return of stadium travels. With a visit to Leeds. Nice hospitality from Leeds there. 58 miles from Wigan. So, stadium travels returns to Leeds tonight. As I hope to avoid a 0-4. First 0-4 out of ever had. Programme for tonight's game, the Blue and Amber edition. And as always with most Super League programmes, it's a £3 one, so it should get the automatic 10. More news later on. Obviously one of the extras that Leeds Carnegie Stadium has is a cricket ground, as you can see there. Get a better view of it. Back onto the North Stand that heading Leeds Carnegie, as you can see. And take <laughs> So, continuing the entertainment portion of the evening here at Headingley, the Spencer Properties dance team. This is a bit more of a zoomed in version for anyone that didn't see the earlier version. So, out come the teams Wigan leads. For round 22, Leeds Rhinos against Wigan Warriors, and I will emphasise it, probably not for the first time tonight, it's the last visit to Headingley this season, because EC won't be playing each other again. Wigan safely in the top four for the Super 8, which will be starting in a few weeks. Here we go, this one song I won't miss. Marching on together, we're going to sink or swim, I once called it, and was called all kinds for it. Well, he might be marching on together, but it could be to the Championship next season. Won't be to the Super League title, that's one thing, won't it? So, it's Leeds versus Wigan, it's about a 5 past 8 kickoff. Round 22 continues. So, half time here at Eddingley, and after a run of good first halves as a Wigan fan recently, this one hasn't been too great. Half time at Eddingley, Leeds right now 6, Wigan 4. On the plus side, I've just been told I was on Sky during the minute silence. So,. I've got proof I was here tonight, even if this video doesn't serve enough. Half time, 6 4. Well, into the final minute here at Eddingley, and sadly, it looks like my, well, horrific record is going to continue here. It was 0 3 before tonight. It's looking like it's going to be 0 4. Sadly, just like that October evening last year, we're going to lose them by two points. Pretty 
puts it from the up. That's Wigan finished. Four, three, two, one. Full time at Eddingley Carnegie Stadium. Leeds Rhinos 18, Wigan Warriors 16. Not in four records for me here at this ground. And to be honest, I don't think I want to ever change that. I don't want to be coming back here ever again. Not in four. Wigan, to be honest, deserve to lose this. The only solace you'll take from this is that Wigan won't be coming here again this year. That's the only solace I can take. Wigan, totally undeserved of a win. Leeds deserved the win tonight, to be honest. But like I say, full time. Rhinos 18. What well, as you've just seen in the last edition, sadly, stadium travels was a negative result. And as there's nothing else planned this weekend, it also means that out and about for, well, the third week in a row, sadly ends on a negative. I say we had the Castleford 19s one last week. <coughs> a week before, obviously, it was a bit of a heartbreak week, wasn't it? So, but well, out and about will begin again in what could be a very important week. Monday, Tuesday in the BHF store. Tuesday potentially could be the last time we see certain someone. Tuesday night sees a welcome return <laughs> to Stormy Corner. As um, host Ackington Stanley in a friendly. And then Friday night, it's the final game of the regular season. As Wigan host St. Helens here in Wigan, where I am now. And then Saturday, I think all were going well. It should be the North East. Academy, I think it is. I don't know, but we'll soon see. That's not what I've done for this week.